This is a Moto Rollo Moto X repair guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, you're going to need to use a few tools, including a safe open pry tool, a Torx T4 screwdriver, and adhesive strips if you're replacing the screen. We also suggest using this SIM card removal tool shown here. This is the stock Moto Rollo SIM card removal tool. It also becomes very helpful later on when we're removing some pins from the screen assembly. So the first thing you want to do is just power off the device and then remove the SIM card tray. From there, we're just going to use a safe open pry tool, and we're going to pry along the outside edges of this seam right here to remove that back battery cover. Now, the clips holding this cover are very sturdy on the Moto X, so you want to take your time doing this. Just get in between that seam, begin releasing all those clips. It's also going to be held down with a little bit of adhesive on the top and the bottom, but you don't want to rip the whole cover off, as there is a flex cable underneath that's attached to the motherboard. So you just want to be a little bit cautious here and just release the sides and the top until you get all the adhesive released and from there you can just swing it open and release that connection. You want to be careful over here by the buttons as those clips over there are very weak and you don't want to damage those clips. So it's going to continue working our way around here. As you can see there's quite a bit of adhesive actually holding it in. You want to be very careful when you're shoving your pry tool inside because you don't want to damage any of the internal components. However, if you're just lifting your pry tool up in there, you'll just release that adhesive. Using a little bit of a heat here might not be a bad idea, but I wouldn't suggest it since the battery is still intact. You don't want to overheat anything. Other tools that are actually really good for this repair would be the ESD nylon spudger. That tool is amazing for releasing all that adhesive as it's so long. That's available at repairsuniverse.com. And there you go. As you can see, we're getting close to removing the back cover. Take note here that there is a silicone blue layer, which should stay attached to the back battery cover. You want to make sure you don't pry underneath that or damage it in any way. So here we go, just lifting up the rest of that adhesive. You want to be very careful, you want to make sure that you flip it out to the left side here. And that will allow us to release this one jaw connection. As you can see right there is all that adhesive holding it in place. And just release that connection, there we go. There's your back cover fully removed. From here, we're just going to use our Torx T4 screwdriver to remove the 11 Torx T4 screws shown in that diagram right there to the left. All these are the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. just that final screw and we're now ready to begin removing some of the covers over here on that right side is just a metal spacer I'm just going to pull that out now we're going to have the top and bottom cover so we're just going to use your safe open pry tool and just release some of those clips it's just a few clips holding that cover into place you just want to be careful though as there is a long side that can be a little bit flimsy so just be sure you don't put too much stress on that and damage it. And there we go. Here we have the audio jack and the loudspeaker. And we're just going to put that to the side. This bottom cover is going to remove the exact same way. And it's going to have that same long piece. So again, be very careful when lifting this up. go and as you can see there's just a few intended contacts but no components located here and we are now ready to release the battery from the motherboard this will just ensure that we don't damage anything on the motherboard with live power from here we're just going to release this volume button flex and this upper connector up here for the ear speaker and sensors once that's done, we can just remove the full motherboard and battery connected. 
are still attached to the motherboard. We're just going to flip it out to the right. There's going to be one connection here. It's going to be a very strong jaw connector for the LCD and touchscreen. So it's going to release that connection. And your motherboard and battery have now been fully removed. At this point, we just have a few components on the screen assembly to release, including this upper speaker connector and sensor cable. So we're just going to release those clips and pop it out. As you can see, the ear speaker is still attached. This is just a speaker contact. And now we're going to release a small metal tab, which is covering the flex cable for the volume button. So it's going to be very careful here. Get underneath it, and then just lift up this tab. There, as you can see, it just came out. Just take note of the orientation of that tab, so you can put it back in. Once we have that tab released, the buttons will just come right out. And from there, we can release that small flex cable. So we're just going to apply a little bit of outward pressure there and peel it up and away. It's just held in place with a little bit of adhesive, so just take your time because that flex cable is very small. You don't want to damage anything. On the Moto X, there are now seven pins that are actually holding in that housing to the screen assembly. As you can see here, there's just these very small silver pins. You can use a paper clip here or the SIM card removal tool which actually worked quite a bit better as there's a little bit more sturdy. There's going to be three on that side and four on this side here. The best way to release these is to push from the inside using this tool. As I said, a paper clip can work, however that's a little bit more flimsy. So we suggest using this SIM card removal tool and just pressing in from the inside out. You just want to be very careful though as you apply too much pressure and the pin can go shooting off. So just make sure you put a hand or something similar in front to make sure you don't lose those pins because they are very, very small. See, as you can see, with a little bit of pressure, the pin falls right out. They're very, very small, so make sure you keep them together as they're all the same size. As I said, there's only three on this side here. Just going to apply a little bit of pressure and pull it out. the third one. Now we're going to swap to the other side. And now for the final pin. This one is a little bit more flimsy as it's closer to the volume button and power button. So I'm just going to use some tweezers here and just pull that out. So now that we have all these pins released, it will now allow us to remove that housing from the screen assembly. So we're just going to swap back to our safe open pry tool. And we're just going to begin prying along the sides here and just lifting up that gray area. You'll be able to see it beginning to separate. It works pretty good if you do even pressure on left side and right side. However, if you can get one side up, that'll work just fine. On the top, there'll just be a few little clips, but it should be very easy just to lift those up. And we'll swap to the other side here. And there we go.
with this piece of the housing fully removed, you can now replace your screen assembly. Take note of this little rubber grommet up here for your sensors. So we'll just put that to the side until we reassemble it. And there we have it, the new Moto X has been fully disassembled. To find all the tools and parts used in this video, be sure to check us out at RepairsUniverse.com. If you found this guide useful, please be sure to like the video. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.